Rendering is how you get your output from Cinema 4D into other applications or as a final video. So for that, let me just dra drag in an object right here. So let's say something like a figure and let's work around with the render settings for it. So the render setting can be accessed from over here. So this is the render settings and over here, the renderer, as you can see, is set to standard. There are also other render settings right here, which are going to see in future lessons. So over here, the default one is the output right here, where you can select the resolution. Right now, the within height, as you can see, is 1280 by 720. So that's 720p uh, SD uh, pixel right there. You can also set this out. You can select another presets right here. So let's say, for example, you can select something like 800 by 600. And as you do that, you can actually see that it actually uh, works around over here. You can see some cinema scopes over here, which is blocking out the left and right. So this is how the final render will be uh, like. So if I were to press SV right here, SV that is, uh, you can see that there's the display tag and the surrounding shadings right over here as well. So if I were to go over here into view, and I, if I were to decrease the opacity, you can see that you can completely remove it or you can uh, increase it out and you can tint it into 100% so you only see the area which is going to be rendered. So normally I like to keep this around 80% so I still have an idea of what is there in the surrounding. But if you want to go for SD itself, you can just go over here. You want to go for full SD for a film and video. I, I can choose uh, SDB 1080 just like this. So over here, this is how you select the uh, presets for the resolution right here. You can also lock the ratio. So even if you were to change the ratio, uh, the height and width, it still stays the same. Uh, the uh, aspect ratio still stays the same. A resolution is about um, to set how much pixels is there per, um, per inch. Usually the default is 72. So you can just keep on that uh, according to the requirement. So you can select the SDB like square and so forth and different aspect ratios as you can see right here as well. You can also select the number of frames. So right now the number of frames to be rendered is from zero to one. So it is going to render only one frame. But if you want to render all of it, you can select up to 90 frames. That's how much uh, it is set to right now. So I can say 90 frames just like that. And there you go. So frame rates is zero to 90. And frame step is uh, per step for each of the frame right here. So it is going to rain, uh, render every frame. But if I were to do frame step two, it is going to render every other frame. So it's going to render frame number zero, um, that zero, two, four, and so forth. So every two frames right there. And this is how you set the frame rate right here as well. We're going to come back onto this in a while. Another thing is the save option where we can select the file format of it to save. So over here, there's stiff, which is selected by default. You may want to save it into targa targa file that is TZA file. If you want uh, the um, uh, the uh, transparent effect right here or PNG is um, um, uh, a format that can be used as well. JPZ if you just want a normal output and PSD if you want to uh, save as a Photoshop file. I just suggest you not to use the video files because you may want to work with the image file now and later bring it bring into some software like Premiere. So even if your render uh, stops halfway, it does not mess up the entire file later on. So you can choose your color profile and everything over here. Multiplast is what you're going to see in further lessons and anti-aliasing is how it actually smooths out everything up. Right now it's geometry and if you had to go to best you can see that the minimum level is one by one and the smooth le smoothing level is four by four pixels. But usually two by two is quite fine. It does a much faster render but four by four means it has to do a much uh, heavier render. So it takes four times longer. This is 16 times longer. Two by two is actually just fine um, for smoothness. Uh, if you want high quality, that is. There's also transparency option, refraction, reflection. You can turn these on and off according to uh, what you need. There's also stereoscopic view. If you want to uh, render 3D movies out, which you can use glasses to actually view stereoscopic 3D. There's uh, team render for more options as well and material override to work around with the materials over there as well. If you want to add in further uh, effects, you can go to effects options right here and there are a lot of effects that you can work with. Suppose for example, denoiser, you can add in denoiser if your images are turn out, turning out quite noisy. It does increase the render time. However, you can add in glow effect as you can see and it works out with the glow and everything else right then and there. 
And if you're not happy with one render settings, but you want to have more, you can actually go over here into them and right click, click on new, and there's new render setting right here. So you can choose either one of them while rendering the one you like. And we talked about frame rate as well. Now to change the frame rate, I'm going to go over here and here it says 30 frame per second, which is uh, default in Cinema 4D. But if I want to work in frame rate 24, uh, it's not just enough to change the frame rate over here, but you have to go over here, press Control D and this project settings actually pops up. Right now the project frame rate is 30 frames per second, so I have to change this into 24 as well to mess that up. Otherwise, uh, the um, the image might look quite choppy. So if you want to set this to 60 right here, this is not enough. You have to set the render time, uh, render frame rate as 60 as well. And that is what naturally helps it out. So that is how you can actually use uh, the render settings uh, quite properly inside of uh, Cinema 4D. And make sure that you pay attention to these while you're rendering out your products. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.